Welcome to the Senior Rehab Podcast. The podcast for rehab clinicians that want to better serve older adults. And now, your host, Dustin Jones. Hello, friends. Thank you for the download. Today's Senior Rehab Short comes from our good friend Stephen Stockhausen, who you will remember was on the podcast before with his better half, Ellen Stockhausen, talking about all things travel PT. Today, he writes about home sweet home health. This was written May 15th, 2016. For years, a home health therapist has been getting a bad rap. Working solo much of the time, a clinician can go about their day largely unseen. Subsequently, there's little perceived oversight, presumably leading to complacency and poor clinical decision-making. The image of a home health therapist that I and many others had or have is that of someone doing as little as possible to get by with minimal regard for their own professional reputation, letting clinical skill and systematic evaluative, evaluative thinking fall by the wayside. This is no longer the case. Increasingly young, motivated clinicians are migrating to the home health realm due to three unique characteristics of the setting that all have a common thread among them. Freedom. Freedom of time. Largely the number one reason why clinicians initially decide to test the sweet waters of home health care, time is the most valuable non-renewable resource. As a physical therapist or occupational therapist or speech therapist or nurse, few settings can provide you with the same flexibility to build your own schedule as home health does. Most companies let the individual clinicians make and manage their day-to-day schedules as they see fit. This means that if little Johnny Snot Nose needs to get go to the pediatrician for the eighth time this school year, with a few quick phone calls, you can bump patients around so that you can pick Johnny Boy up from school and make the appointment on time. Or say there's a key World Cup soccer match on right in the middle of your day. A quick shuffle of the calendar and you're ready to cheer on Team USA, face paint and all. This may or may not be from personal experience. Not only is it easy to juggle patient visits, but given the fact that A, most companies require only five to six patient visits a day to be considered full-time, and B, the majority of clients are just as unmotivated in the morning as we are and do not want to be seen until mid-morning at the earliest, the home health workday is commonly 10 to 4 p.m. Currently, my wife and I get to walk our pups on the beach each morning and even slip in a workout before skipping out the door to work. Those are the lifestyle benefits to home health, but one of the biggest upsides of practicing as a home health clinician is the ability to take as much time as you need with each client. No double bookings, back-to-backs only happen if you want them to, and the absence of time codes create the ideal work environment for both you and your patient. Finally, you have full control of the time necessary to give your patients the best that your skills have to offer. Freedom of focus. Freedom of focus and freedom of time run hand in hand in hand in my life. When the world around me is a hectic mess, it seems my mental clarity falls right into the twisting torrent as well. Yes, patient treatment comes with its own hailstorms of challenges and catastrophes, but after each session, you get a respite, albeit even a brief one, but a respite nonetheless in the form of drive time. Drive time is is often undervalued and demonized benefit of home health physical therapy. It provides you a sanctuary with which you can do as you like. A precious, peaceful, quiet, a violent headbanging mini mosh in the driver's seat, or a quick and desperate Google search of whatever the heck that thing was growing on your patient's backside are all potential options. Personally, I opt for Automobile University, as Dustin Jones of the Senior Rehab Project calls it. Podcasts and audiobooks have become an immensely valuable part of my everyday work life. Whether it is therapy, business, writing, or travel related, there are podcasts and audiobooks galore. Plus, most podcast players allow you to play at 1.5 to 2 times normal speed. Sounds intimidating, but your ear picks up the info, and after 5 to 10 minutes, you hardly notice that it is any faster than normal speech. Let the binging begin. Freedom of specialization. Another misconception regarding home health care is that we only treat dehydrated little old ladies who recently fell and couldn't get up. This could not be further from the truth. As a home health clinician, we treat patients with just about every condition possible, from the mundane to the extravagant. If they cannot safely leave their home for care, that care is in our hands. I have seen my fair share of deconditioned old folks, but I have also had the privilege to work with one of only five people ever to survive into adulthood with a rare genetic condition. Neuro, ortho, wound care, geriatrics, Parkinson's disease, cancer care, and hospice care are just a few of the specializations that are available to clinicians 
should they pursue further credentialing. Personally, I utilize my clinical specialization in orthopedics daily, not just because I have a heavy patient load of ortho, but because the same principles I learned in acquiring my credential apply to nearly all the clients I treat. Pain science, motor learning, and tissue healing techniques are ubiquitous throughout our clientele and essential components to providing quality care. Freedom. The work-life balance is most assuredly one of the keys to a long and adventure-filled existence. No other setting provides for as much customization of both career and lifestyle. A once-looked-down-upon practice setting is quickly becoming a highly desired, well-paying niche for clinicians who are tired of the rat race and are excited to take their freedom back. Thanks, Doc. Hit me. I want to thank you for listening to this podcast. The show notes and much, much more can be found at SeniorRehabProject.com. I want to encourage you to go there so you can join me and many others in the movement that's changing the face of geriatric rehab. Just go to SeniorRehabProject.com, click join, and you'll be able to get access to our private Facebook group, which can basically serve as your virtual mastermind group. You'll get a short and sweet monthly email from me with useful links for you and your patients. And lastly, you'll get 10% off your first purchase from the Senior Rehab Store. So all of this can be found at SeniorRehabProject.com. And until next time, my friends, do not forget to stay funky.